Bienvenidos! Welcome to Spain on a Fork today. We're making another incredible tapas appetizer, puff pastry bundles with asparagus, roasted peppers, and goat cheese. Oh my goodness, these puff pastry bundles are so amazing. They have a beautiful flavor and texture to them. They're very easy to make. They use simple ingredients that you can easily find at your supermarket and they're done in about 30 minutes. Uh, like I said earlier, you can serve these as an appetizer, but they also work really well as a side dish or even as a main course next to a salad. Now to make these puff pastry bundles, I'm gonna be using some store-bought pre-made puff pastry dough. You didn't think we were gonna make this from scratch, did you? Uh, even if we did, I don't even think I know how to make this. Anyway, uh, here in Spain, they sell this uh, fresh, so it's ready to go. If you can't find like this in your supermarket, go check in the freezer department. That's where they usually have them, and thaw it out by the instructions before you get started. For the second thing, we're using asparagus. Asparagus season is ending right now, but you can normally find them all year round at your supermarket. And then last but not least, you're gonna need some Spanish paprika, as this is what gives uh, this dish that beautiful Spanish flavor. As always, I'm rocking with Kiva Sweet Smoke Spanish paprika. This is an amazing paprika, has a beautiful balance of flavors. I highly recommend it. Link below where you guys can get some. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by grabbing a pack of fresh asparagus that's been rinsed under cold running water and pat them down with a dishcloth. This is a very important step as you don't want any extra water in these asparagus. Then we're gonna pack our asparagus with the spear in the bottom. This is guaranteed that when we cut our asparagus, they're all gonna be evenly sized. And cut off between two to three inches from the end. Next, I'm gonna brush some extra virgin olive oil on the asparagus. Very important that they're all in a single layer. That way they all get that beautiful olive oil. And season the asparagus with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Now I'm gonna grab four jarred roasted red bell peppers. Again, you wanna make sure that you pat them down with paper towels to remove any of that extra moisture. and cut each roasted bell pepper in half. All right, we're moving on to the puff pastry dough. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. As you can see, this is a square design and the size of it is uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. Now you don't have to do this, but when I like to cut my puff pastry, I bring out the ruler. That way everything's evenly sized. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna go six inches by six inches on my squares. If you want your puff pastry uh, bundles to be a little bit smaller, go four inches by four inches. Okay, now we can start assembling our puff pastry bundles. You wanna do this pretty quickly because uh, this puff pastry dough does not like to sit out at room temperature. It becomes a lot of, uh, very difficult to work with. So we're gonna start by adding two pieces of roasted bell pepper on the top of the dough. Grab four asparagus and add them on top. We're gonna crumble it with some soft goat cheese and sprinkle it with some sweet smoked Spanish paprika. Now to fold our bundles, you wanna grab one of the ends and fold it over the ingredients. And then grab the other end and fold it over. And as you're finishing each puff pastry, add it into a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And continue to do this until all your puff pastries are done. Once you have all the puff pastries done, I'm gonna brush them with some extra virgin olive oil. and then season them with a little sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna add this into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 210 degrees Celsius, 410 degrees Fahrenheit. After 15 to 17 minutes, I'm gonna take the puff pastries out of the oven and these look perfectly cooked. Now using a spatula, I'm gonna grab a couple of them and add them into a serving dish for presentation. Now these puff pastry bundles look amazing. As you guys can see, they're a little bit large in size to be an appetizer, but this is how I like to make them. If you want your bundles to be a little bit smaller, uh, remember when I cut the dough, I did six inches by six inches, just go four inches by four inches. Either way, this looks amazing. It smells heavenly, let's try it. Wow, seriously so good. The texture in that puff pastry dough is so amazing. It's got so many layers to it. And then the flavors, you get the earthiness from the asparagus, the sweetness from the roasted bell peppers, 
that tanginess from the goat cheese, and then that Spanish smoked paprika kind of brings everything together. Amazing flavors. You guys saw this very easy to make, done in about 30 minutes. Before I go, I'd like to uh, give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener. Again, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. If you guys would like to support Spain on Fork, you'll find my patron link in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.